Hey guys, it's Justine, and I just woke up from a very, very long nap, and I had this dream that Apple released a new version of the Mac Studio with a brand new chip called the M2 Ultra, where they smashed two M2 Max chips together into one monster chip that will support 192 gigs of unified memory and six Pro Display XDRs all at once, but then I remembered it's not a dream at all. This was announced at WWDC, and uh, it's actually right here beside me. The new Mac Studio with the M2 Ultra chip. I'm sweating. Actually, I think I'm supposed to open it like this. I don't really know how you're supposed to open it, but this feels right. There it is. Okay, yeah, 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 look. And then this just folds down. Okay, you're not supposed to do that. That was supposed to stay there. But now it's open, so we're just gonna slide it out. We've got our power cable here, and I think that's all that's in here. <sighs> it's so beautiful. I've been trying to think of the best way to really test out the new Mac Studio. And if you've ever watched any of my videos, then you know that I am currently powering my entire editing desk setup, which consists of an OWC RAID, multiple backup drives, two Pro Display XDRs, as well as the Apple Studio Display, all with my maxed out 14 inch MacBook Pro. And I absolutely love it for so many reasons. But in the name of science and wanting to test this out properly, I thought I would bite the bullet and replace my entire editing desk setup with this Mac Studio. Right Right over here. <sighs> okay, let's set it up and we can chat about it. Now the Mac Studio is so unique in Apple's lineup of desktop computers because it looks very similar to the Mac Mini, but a little bit taller and a lot more powerful. It can be configured with either the M2 Max or the all new M2 Ultra chip with a 24 core CPU, 76 core GPU, and 32 core neural engine. You can choose from 64, 128, or 192 gigs of unified memory and up to eight terabytes of internal solid state storage. That is my mind blowing. To create the M2 Ultra, they literally combined two M2 Max chips together into one massive, ultra powerful processor with 3.3 times faster CPU performance, up to 6.1 times faster GPU performance, and up to 5.9 times faster machine learning. And with all this power, the M2 Ultra can support up to 22 streams of 8 K footage. I mean, I can't even begin to imagine a scenario where that would actually be necessary for me personally, but I'm sure there are many people out there who it will be necessary for. And I'm definitely gonna put that to the test. The ports on the new Mac Studio also got a big upgrade. On the front, it has two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports plus an SDXC card reader. And on the back, it has four Thunderbolt 4 ports, 10 gigabit ethernet, two USB-A ports, an upgraded HDMI port that supports up to eight 8K resolution, and of course, a headphone jack. Plenty of I.O. to connect almost anything that your little computer heart desires. Now the configuration that I have here in the studio is an M2 Ultra with a 24 core CPU, 76 core GPU, and 128 gigs of memory with four terabytes of storage. It just looks so beautiful sitting under a monitor on a desk. Now having previously already tested out the Mac Studio with the M1 chip, I already know how absolutely incredibly powerful it is. So obviously, this one is gonna be able to do all of the things that that could do and more. Let's see if I can put 22 streams of 8K into an 8K timeline. <laughs> I mean, it kinda of looks like a terrible layout, but don't judge my design skills. I threw this together really quick. But this is running so smooth, and this is all ProRes 8K, and I took this out of the A1, put it in compressor, converted it to ProRes, and here we are. I mean, I think that was a pretty good test. Good. I think the video's yeah. over. See ya. Just kidding, there's more. Armando had this great idea. He's like, okay, well, that's impressive, but put it in an actual timeline of 8K, 10, of 10 8K streams, but in a 76,800 by 43,200 timeline and having them actually all be scaled to 8K inside of this massive timeline. I was like, hmm, I see you. 
let's try it. So we freaking did, and I even added an extra one. So there's 11 streams of 8K, and this is full actual 8K. Okay, these I had to make these a little smaller because they didn't fit, but I did add an extra one in. And this is running so freaking smooth. Let me just give you a little, look at this. Freaking smooth like butter. This is, I mean, this is absolutely mind blowing. Um, in some Apple demos, they always love to show you Pixelmator, Pixel, Pixelmator Pro. So I just thought I would try it since I've never actually tried it before. So I'm gonna zoom into this little boat and I'm going to select it. Hello, little boat. I don't like you. Go away. And instantly it's gone. <laughs> I mean, that actually did a really good job. What if I want to remove this? Oh, well, that's also gone. Maybe I'm gonna be using this app a little bit more. Let's... <gasps> well, now I see why everyone likes this app. Remove that. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. <gasps> why is this so freaking good? Oh, I'm sold. I'm actually gonna be traveling back to my parents' house and I have a studio display there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to be packing up this Mac Studio and taking it home with me. So I'm super hyped about that because I'll be able to take this entire project, fly home, and when I land, I can just dock it. And this, when you think about how powerful this is for businesses, for productions, for studios, to be able to just take this and transport it from studio to set, like it is something that you really easily can do. Now, if I had a Mac Pro, that's a little bit larger. Don't think I could get on a plane with that unless I had a very special um, Pelican case, which I feel like if anyone's gonna do that, it's 100% gonna be Marquez. Not me, but I could definitely see him doing that. But I can just easily put this thing in my backpack and take it with me anywhere. All right, let's load it up for its East Coast trip to my parents' house. Do you have your passport? Is it in your Apple wallet? There it is. It's in. Oh, I need the power cable. All right, it's not so bad, pretty light, but I don't have anything else in my bag. I still need to put my computer and my iPad and the rest of my gadgets in here. So welcome to my childhood bedroom and I'm gonna turn this into my studio. I've been spending a lot of time back home at my parents' house and having a dedicated setup here is gonna be so awesome. That's one thing that might be a little bit different. I have a little bit more equipment in my room now. I love these little Amaran lights. So I brought these home for my studio. So I'm able to use this to light different things. They're so small and portable and I don't have a lot of room in my bedroom. So these are perfect and super easy to store. And of course now with all of these upgrades, it's even more powerful than me as a content creator YouTuber would probably ever need for the next, I don't know, like the next year until the next one comes out. All right, let's get this started and turn my bedroom into a full-fledged media powerhouse. Here she is, little Mac Studio. It's in here. Oh yeah, look at you. It's so pretty. Like I love it so much. Need a keyboard and a mouse. I just, we will never understand why. Okay, so my setup is complete and it is actually 11 p.m. right now and I'm at my parents' house, like I said, and I have to be kind of quiet because they're all sleeping. And of course, much like when I was a child, I'm up late on my computer. Now I'm posting this video tomorrow morning, so I have to finish editing it. But now this whole process, luckily I have an incredible editor, Tyler, who helps me out immensely with my channel. So while I was traveling here, he was actually working on this edit already. And we use this app called Post Lab, which is by far 
the most fantastic thing for editors, especially for Final Cut, because it allows us to work simultaneously on projects in the cloud. So he finished the first half of this video and uploaded it to Post Lab. So now I'm gonna go in, I'm going to download the library and I have all of the assets already on my computer. Everything that I don't have, he uploaded to Frame.io, so I've already downloaded all of those. So both of us have matching footage on all of our computers. So here we go, here is the library. I'm just gonna click start editing. And what's cool is you can see here when he started working on it. And here we are. Time to start editing. So here's all of my clips and everything is just running super fast, super smooth. Now when you do this, normally you need to relink all of your media. And sometimes that takes a really long time, especially working with 8K clips and a lot of high quality footage. But when I imported this in and relinked everything, it was so fast, so speedy. Like I blinked and the projects and everything were just here and everything appeared and it, and dare I say, it was like magic. So here's the project. As you can see, it opened up super fast. Here's our timeline everything is just smooth these are multi-cam clips some of these are 8k b-roll and it's just it's cruising so what's awesome is this was all the stuff that Tyler had edited and I came in and finished the edit where I was traveling home. Now the one thing that I really wanted to try that I didn't get a chance to while I was at home in Los Angeles at my studio was gaming. So I have downloaded Resident Evil Village and this will actually run natively on Apple Silicon Macs. So I'm so excited to try this out. So I'm gonna sync my Xbox controller to the studio. This is so easy to do. You just go into the Bluetooth settings, press and hold this little sync button there, and there it is. We're synced. So now with this M2 Ultra, we're gonna be getting such a huge graphics performance. Now I didn't run any benchmarks myself, but reading this article, it says the M2 Ultra is only 10% slower than the RTX 4080, which is Nvidia's second fastest GPU right behind their 4090. So um, yeah, that's pretty impressive. Apple's coming to play. I mean, they're not coming to play, like they're freaking here. Like Intel Macs have 100% been left behind. Like the Silicon Mac chips, are by far better than anything that I could have ever hoped for. All right, let's start a new game. Um, we're gonna do casual. <gasps> wow, this looks so good. Okay, so right now I have this set in just the standard settings, but we can actually go in because this is the M2 Ultra and we can actually make this look even better because we can turn on the metal effects upscaling. 3840 by 2160. We're going to prioritize the quality. This is wild because you can actually go in and see the different quality changing. I don't know if you guys can see this, but holy, what the heck? This looks so freaking crystal clear. Like her sweater looks, like everything looks so realistic. I'm actually so shook. What a huge difference that made. Hello child. I wasn't listening and I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Do I put the child to sleep? So I did a little searching and I found a baby carriage. So hopefully this is where we- we put the child. Okay, well, no, we don't. Shh. Where, where is your crib? Yeah, you're going in here. Go see. So now that we're rid of the child, um, we can actually move around here a little bit faster. And you can definitely tell like all of the reflections, like everything is super, super smooth. What kind of food you got? Is she okay? What kind of meal you making? Oh, hands off. Oh. <laughs> don't hit me. Sure. Cutscenes look beautiful. Oh my goodness. Quite a tragedy. Oh my God, I'm scared. It's really late and I'm playing a scary game. Oh! <laughs> can, I, can I take any of that? No. That is the question. What looks like it's now daytime. Look how great this looks. So gaming on this was actually pretty impressive and I'm really excited that I now have this awesome setup that I feel like every time I come home to visit, I will have a complete workstation so I'll be able to bring this Mac Studio back and forth. I definitely plan on playing this in between my work sessions. This is pretty great because now that I have this workstation here, I feel like I'm gonna be so much more productive when I do come home to visit. And now that we actually have Starlink internet, it is so much faster than before. It's still not as fast as my Los Angeles two gig up, two gig down, but considering that I could barely browse the internet before Starlink is a savior. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear if there's anything else that you would like to see me test out with the Mac Studio. Be sure to leave all of those in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. And if you want to check out any more of my reviews, you can check them out here on the end screen. And with that, my friends, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.